last chance. With position 8 in Q1 Group A, Frode Sundstahl failed to directly qualify for the Grand Prix of Denmark, but would start from pole position into Sunday's 15-lap qualifying race. From start to finish, Sundstahl led the field and won the race and a spot on the starting grid of the Grand Prix. Keep the lane after the qualifying race, second-placed Uwe Slakteris was penalized for not keeping the lane to the first turn. The controversial decision dropped back the Latvian driver from second to sixth position, what still kept him qualified for the Grand Prix. Race Facts It's the second round of the 2018 F2 World Championship. Let's show begin. 20 pilots are qualified for this 40-lap Grand Prix of Denmark in Aalborg. The race course, right in the middle of the historic Danish city, with a length of 1.94 kilometers, 7 turns, 6 left and 1 right-hander. A main straight of 422 meters and the man on pole position, Rashid al Kamzi. On point. The third place of the Kaunas Grand Prix, Stefan Hagen, who qualified fourth here in Denmark, had the best start when the red lights turned off. The German pilot went from fourth into the lead at the first lap of the Grand Prix in Aalborg. Hard landing. For the second time in a row, American Brand Dillard qualified second for an F2 Grand Prix. After his start problems in Kaunas, everything went right at the Grand Prix start here in Aalborg. But already in turn 5, Dillard hit a wave and lost control of his boat. So yellow was up and the race already finished for the ambition pilot. Sudden end During the full course yellow, the water conditions changed dramatically when wind and waves increased. The consequence? The race was red flagged and all boats returned to the starting pontoon. The first decision of the race direction was to postpone the restart half an hour. But even then, the conditions made a safe race impossible. So the hard decision was made to cancel the F2 Grand Prix of Denmark. A bitter end of a fantastic event put up by the Aalborg organizers.